top five Visual Studio Code extensions for you to learn in 2020 and 2021. I'm so excited for you to watch this video. There's gonna be tons of tips and tricks that are gonna be extremely valuable for you. With that said, let's jump right into it. Yo, what's up guys? This is your boy Kazi from Clever Programmer. Our number one goal here is to help you get a high paying job as a developer with the tips and tricks that we share with you. Now, if you wanna help me and my team beat the YouTube algorithm, smash that like button. It really helps get the video out there. And so that'll be really helpful. With that said, let's get straight to the value. Now here are the top five Visual Studio Code extensions that you need to learn. Number one, prettier. This is an absolute must when it comes to formatting your code. This is the one that you see all the time us using in our coding projects, where as soon as we hit Command S or Control S if you're on Windows, as soon as we hit save, it formats your code. It's a must if you code in JavaScript, React.js, Python, or really any other language. So when it comes to Visual Studio Code and you coding and you need things formatted, Prettier is the way to go. Number two, Bracket Pair Colorizer. How many times are you coding in JavaScript or React.js, and this happens to me all the time, where you can't find the freaking closing parentheses or the closing bracket is frustrating or you can't find the first opening and you can't match them. That happens to me all the time, especially when I'm coding in JavaScript because I'm from Python. So we don't have any parentheses or semicolons or stuff like that. So in the JavaScript world, when I'm like always putting a closing paren and then a squiggly and then something else, that's when I get messed up. I know a lot of people do as well. This is a lifesaver for you. What bracket pair colorizer will do is it will find the opening one and it will give it a, its own color. So like two pinks will close together. Two yellows will close together. Two greens will close together. So you always know which one is the start, which one is the end. So that's what I recommend as the number two, bracket pair colorizer. Number three, live share. This one is the one you see me and Sunny, me and Nas, Nas and Jesse, all of us use when we're building these big coding projects and everybody's like, what is the plugin they're using to be able to code together? Sunny is in UK, I'm here. So how are we building our projects together? With no lag, Sunny even gets access to my local host. So how can you give access to your local host to everything, all your ports and your terminal? We use Live Share. This is one of the best features of Visual Studio Code. And honestly, this is the clearest reason why everybody should get on Visual Studio Code and actually use it. One thing that no other platform has is this live share functionality. Unless I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I could be wrong. But that's the thing that I believe for Visual Studio Code, that's the best. And so live share is definitely something you wanna have. And when you're coding with people, it lets you code together in real time. You can see each other's code. You can see who's typing when. You can give access to your terminal. You can give them read or write access. You can give them read or write access to your local host. I am a big believer in live share. So that's my choice for number three. Number four, ES6 snippets. This is useful for you when you're writing a lot of code and you need it to expand automatically and for your code to know what the hell you're actually trying to say, especially if you want to turn your code into ES6 friendly code. So, you know, those arrow functions, things like that, that helps you be able to actually expand and use those snippets. If you want to improve your code, the ease with which you write it and the ability to have nice, friendly ES6 shortcuts, then ES6 snippets is for you. Number five, debugger for Chrome. We all are using Chrome. Hopefully we are. Don't tell me that you're a developer and you're using Safari or anything else. If you're using Chrome for VS Code, you need to have this extension because it allows and makes your debugging a lot easier. Those are the five plugins that I recommend for you guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far, guys, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you wanna see part two of this video, do let me know in the comments below. Other than that, this is Kazi. I hope these tips were helpful to you. If you start actually applying all of these tips in your life, I do believe that it will take your career to the next level as a developer. And other developers will love you because they'll be like, oh my God, this person knows about things like live share. And finally, I don't have to just sit there and only use GitHub pull requests. 
to code together. I can actually do it live with another developer. It will massively improve your productivity and what you bring to the table. Therefore, being for you, it'll allow you to actually be able to charge higher prices or get those high paying jobs. This is Kazi. I love your beautiful face. Smash that like button, hit subscribe below, comment if you learned anything or if you wanna see part two. With that said, I'll see you in the next video.